Studios in New York, here is Stone Phillips. Good evening. From Black Beauty to Seabiscuit, horses have long had a special place in the human heart and Hollywood. Now, a coalition of animal lovers and movie stars are fighting to save thousands of horses who could soon be facing death. It has all the makings of a Hollywood movie, except a happy ending. Here's Keith Morrison. This one is called Missy. Missy is part of a giant secret. Or if not exactly a secret, then an uncomfortable fact, thousands upon thousands of Missies are suddenly in danger of becoming horse meat. Why? One phrase, slaughter. The USDA has called the industry a model of self-regulation, but opponents say it's cruel, inhumane. That, to me, is nothing short of torture. It's subtle torture, but it's still torture. You know, it's Dr. Really Ray Kalasami is a gynecologist and horse advocate. Um, horses evolve through millennia in wide open spaces. They're not animals that should be subjugated to factory farming conditions. Wyeth declined an on-camera interview, but in a statement told Dateline, it is committed to the care and treatment of the horses. And says it has acted quickly and responsibly to ease the transition for the affected ranches and their animals. But Dr. Kalasami says that simply isn't realistic. There's no homes for that many. She's trying to raise awareness about how many horses are at risk. Because everybody I have ever mentioned this to goes, they say, what are you talking about? It's not like, oh yeah, I heard about that. They literally don't know. It's why she helps Helen Meredith raise money to adopt the horses. It's so hard to, to think that they're all just going to go to a, a feedlot, be fattened up and ship for slaughter. I mean, they're just, they were just a total waste, uh, just a byproduct of an industry. If you'd like to learn more about these horses, visit our website. The address is dateline.msnbc.com.